Good morning, Deepak. It's good to meet you again. Yeah, nice meeting you too. Uh, uh, I know you've had a great uh, last night session. Today morning was very, very intense. Uh, I believe you've attended the Horasis uh, Cyprus meet. That was my first one in June this year. And so yeah. this is your second Horasis right. meet. Wow, so very quick question. So what draws you to Horasis? I mean, uh, since this is the second time you've already come here, uh, what draws you to this uh, summits of this kind where there are multilateral subjects of all kinds discussed and you meet a whole lot of people? So what is the first thing that you believe draws you to the Horasis uh, Global Summit? Well, uh, I must say it's Frank's uh, innovative uh, positioning with each of the events. Mm -hmm. And uh, me per se, because of the diversity of our businesses, I find this is a good platform mm -hmm. to connect with people who are in similar businesses uh, to exchange ideas mm -hmm. and look at the possibilities of shaking hands at the end of the day. Yeah. So, uh, and you think uh, if I were to take that question to the next level that uh, we'll be seeing you again at some of the forthcoming Horasis summits that are probably planned all over the European subcontinent? I, yes, I certainly look forward to having sort of slotted in two slots okay. on an annual basis. Uh, one is as far as Africa is concerned. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something that Frank and I are talking about uh, because uh, Africa is a very important market for the businesses that I do. Mm -hmm. uh, as I mentioned to you, that I sit on the global board of a bank there, the number two financial institution. And what we want to do is to engage between India and Africa particularly mm -hmm. uh, uh, in terms of governance, in terms of I mean, trade finance that happens, the banking side of it, the insurance side of it, the financial services side, as well as got to do with the infrastructure side. So that's a platform that uh, we want to set up. Do you think that there is an opportunity that you might see uh, a global Afra African business meet uh, through Horasis? Yes, I, I see that. Uh, Happening very soon? Bit. Well, I, I would say, I would say that in 2012, I'm very hopeful it should happen. Wow, that's and, good. And uh, it's something that has already been set into motion. The, uh, Frank is very good at structuring the uh, yeah, that topics. That is absolutely yes. wonderful. Really. But as far as I'm concerned, last night I was talking to our minister from India, uh, Mr. Kamal Nath. It's very interesting that he came up with the same proposition. Yeah, I heard that. Yes. He was talking about yes. Africa yes. pretty uh, intensely and very positively yeah. from Africa. So the deal with him was that, listen, since you're talking about it and you're so keen on it, so you're going to be there at the first event. Bravo, that's so great. So we got him committed on that one. That's great. Yes. So that's a great thing. I think that'll add a lot of value to it. Sure. Africa is the future that he's talking yes. about. So let me take you to another question that I have in mind and I thought I might just ask sure. you. Uh, you've got multitude of business and verticals, different kind of businesses. And one of the businesses that I think you have is retail, shopping malls, asset management. Uh, if I were to ask you that question, what particularly uh, for Asia uh, markets, how do you see this business uh, in terms of opportunity uh, in the next uh, few years, in the short term and the long term, uh, both retail, uh, asset management, for Asia, India, Arab world, uh, the focus would be, right now we started off with India, but I might take a minute that, uh, yes, we are into retail, but it's more through multi-purpose developments. What we do is that we've got listed funds, mm -hmm. which are listed in Mauritius and Singapore, mm -hmm. and we uh, draw monies into India. This is through the FDI route, that's the investments that are done. A point in case being, let's say, Aurangabad is a city. Uh, we've got uh, almost 2 million square feet of development happening. 800,000 is a mall that we've opened in October last year, and it's doing quite well, far ahead of our uh, objectives. The rest is commercial space. Mm -hmm. Now, we're taking the same formats in other cities in India. The, so where do I see that? India is where we, we also do mall management. That's one of our companies. We have hospitality. Within this place itself, we put our budget hotels and resort hotels, depending on the location. We want to emulate that, and the Arab world would be of interest, because consumerism here is very attractive. Uh, you see the malls over here, and there are footfalls which are high. I see that being replicated in some of the other uh, uh, states, states within the Arab world. And uh, right now, as of currently, our hands have been pretty full in, in India. 
But the expansion, definitely, this will be a choice that I'm going to look at. More also because it becomes an attractive destination to look at because the sovereign funds which are here are pretty keen on realty yeah. compared to the US funds which have a, a lower benchmark of 5% within their portfolio. Mm -hmm. In the Arab world, they like realty. So and that's a higher... There is a higher allocation, allocation. allocation and uh, India is a destination that they are keen to look at. So Parasis is also a platform for us to engage on that. Very good. So I, I can see very clearly that uh, you're, you're, uh, you're very bullish on, on these two verticals of business that you talked about. Absolutely. And I also believe that you are uh, a very key partner in facilitating the uh, harasses into some new areas that are like the African dimension. So uh, I, I wish you all the best and I, and I hope that 2012, uh, who know, we might just meet up in uh, Johannesburg. Yeah, absolutely. For us, it's Global African this to speak the first time. Yeah. And we'll yes. celebrate that with a good South African wine. Absolutely, okay. Deepak. And, and thank you so very much for taking our time with us. And uh, you have a good stay. Thank you. A safe to a flight back or wherever you're going. You're going to India or somewhere? I'm going to India tonight. Okay. Yes. Thanks a lot, Deepak. Thank, thank you. you.